Hi, this is Dr. Frederick, and I uh, just want to look at how to solve these uh, linear equations, um, maximizing uh, problems uh, using the solver function of Excel. Now, I have shown you another problem, uh, a way to solve this is, is how I always think of it is uh, if I have two equations to solve, I'm just going to solve them for x and then go back in and find y. Uh, if you look at the graphs of, you know, bounded areas where the two lines intersect is where your maximum value is going to be in, in this sort of problem. And, and so it's just so easy to think of it that way for me that uh, I don't really have much use for this part of Excel. But, um, you know, it is how the, uh, the course developer has taught this idea, and I'm glad to show you how to do it. Um, and, and so we're going to set our data up in Excel like this. And so what you have to have first is you have to have data. These are the, the numbers given to you. And then you have to have something called model. And that says how I'm going to combine this information uh, to, to, get in, uh, to, to try to find my answers. Now, the idea here is that if you get your model set up right, then you can go back in and change these values and uh, optimize endlessly. So, you know, you want to set it up, so get the model set up. It's just a comprehension problem, trying to figure out how do you set these data up. And uh, so, you know, the nuts are going to be, uh, say, our x value, and the raisins are going to be our y value. We only have so many nuts. We have 114 kilograms of nuts, and we have only 72 kilograms of raisins. And we have two mixes that we can sell. Now, I don't think we mind if we just sell 100% of one mix, if that's going to maximize our revenue. And, and this is just a revenue problem. You, you could think of it as profit if you wanted to. How do we maximize profit by combining what we produce? We're going to produce so much of the first mix, so much of the second mix. And what we'd ultimately like to do is to use up all of our product. Okay, so as I told you, you know, you're going to have something like this. Uh, your first mix is 0.5x plus 0.5y equals 7. And your second mix is 0.75x plus uh, 0.25y, or you could put 3x plus y equals 9.5. And, and then the limit is I, I have 114 kilograms here and 72 here. Now, somehow we want to get this in a model for Excel. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up this these two variables called quantity produced. This is what we're trying to find, right? How much do we produce of the first mix? How much do we produce of the second mix? If we know how much we're going to produce, then we know based on the ratios what these values are going to be. Well, what is it we're trying to maximize? We're trying to maximize, I would just put in here revenue, okay? Uh, okay, is we're trying to maximize revenue, which is this. The revenue from the first mix plus the revenue from the second mix gives us our revenue here. Okay, we want these values to end up to be these values. And these are the values we don't know what we need to do to get this value optimized or maximized. Okay, so these are just going to be zeros. And Excel is going to say, okay, I'm going to try a lot of different values in here. It's actually just going to solve it uh, in algebra the way I showed you in the first video. But let's just say, you know, it can do, you know, a billion operations per second or you know, so many teraflops or something like that. Well, okay, so you just put zero in there. And um, then everything else is a combination of information based on these two values that Excel is going to manipulate. So let's just look at this. Uh, what is this? We want to know how, how many uh, kilograms of nuts we're going to use. We're going to say it's uh, some ratio times zero, okay? And then when this changes from zero to some other number, well, this value is going to change uh, and give us a half a unit of that, okay? So if we have 10 kilograms of uh, first mix, we're going to have 5 kilograms of ra nuts and 5 kilograms of raisins. So if we look up here in the formula bar, I don't really know. I guess I can make this bigger by, let me just see if I can. There we go. But see, I don't really know how to make the values bigger for you to see easier on YouTube. We'll just put it back. Okay, so it says take B7. Uh, let's let's go to, uh, I'm hitting escape here. Okay, let me start over. I'm in this cell nuts. 
All right, so I want to know 0.5 times 0, and I have let this value equal b6 times b12. So b6 is this, b12 is this. This is equal to 0.5 times 0. Okay, and, and it's going to, you're going to, going to show 0, but what's going to happen when you solve is that when this changes, this is going to change because it's not a 0, it's an equation. Okay, that's what you put in there is the equation is in there. And to put in the equation for Excel always starts with the equal sign. And it says take what's in B6 and multiply by B12. Okay, similarly, uh, similarly, it's really easy to get these messed up. So um, here we have um, take C6 and multiply it by C12. Okay, and then, you know, all four cells are like that. B7 times B12, and then C7 times C12. So that's what these, I'm going to hit escape, okay. Is these four values are these four values times these two values, okay? And then what are these? Well, these are, this is this plus this. Okay, so if we look at the formula, it's B13 plus, see, this is the limit. How much nuts are we going to use, okay? And this, we know our limit is 114, but Excel is going to say, well, to maximize this value, I'm going to put, I'm going to use this much nuts, okay? And then this value is this plus, I'm sorry, this plus this, okay? B14 plus C14. That's the, the amount of nuts, or raisins, I'm sorry, amount of raisins, and it's limited by 72. All right, so once we know these values, these values pop out, and, and what is this value? Well, it's that revenue plus that revenue, and this is the value, hit escape, uh, this is the value we're trying to maximize, okay? So you have to get your model set up. You have to think it through and say, what am I doing here? I'm trying different values here to maximize this value, limited by these values. All right, how do we get solver in? Let's just look here. We're going to go to Options. I'm going to drag this up here. Okay, so you have to go to Add-ins here. You have to scroll down and find Solver. I guess I've already added Solver, but that's where I... Here's the Solver right here. You just have to then click Go. Okay, and then you're going to click the Solver Add-in. Click OK. And when you go to Add-ins... No, I'm sorry. When you go to Data, you're going to see Solver over here. So here's Solver. And let's, does it doesn't do anything? Okay, I've already put it in here, but but let's just let's just uh, reset all. Okay. All right. So what is the objective? Is I'm going to take this value d16. I'm going to maximize it by changing what? By changing these two values. Okay. These are the values that get changed when I try different values here. Then these four cells go to different values, right? Because all four of these cells are dependent on what's in these two cells. Let me move this over just a little bit, okay? So recall, I put zeros in here. Not These aren't formulas, these are zeros. Okay, let's just close this and remind it. That's a zero, that's a zero, right? Because when you go up to the formula bar, that's what's in there. But these are all formulas, okay? Every one of these is dependent on these. This is what we're going to change. Okay, so we're going to change the variable cells here subject to what constraints? Well, the constraints are, first of all, let's just add. Okay, so the first constraint is that this is less than or equal to this. Oh, sorry, i got to put it here. Uh, I, I screwed it up. Let's do it again. Add this is less than or equal to this, okay? zero or, or what is d13 which we're going to optimize is less than it this is this is as much as we can go we can't put a thousand kilograms in there we're limited so we're going to add that okay so then let this is less than or equal to this add that and then probably we need to put something that's greater than zero and this is greater than or equal to zero okay Okay, so let's go back to Solver and see if we have all three of those. We're maximizing this. 
I, I'm not sure about this D16. I'll have to see if this works, okay? doesn't work. Okay, so when it doesn't work, what, what you need to do is to go in and just check your values. Is this B6 times B12? Yes. Is this B7 times B12? Yes. Is this C6 times C12? Yes. Is this C7 times C12? Yes. And is this B9 times B12? Yes. B12 is the zero. Okay. Is this C9 plus C12? Yes. Is this the adding of those 13 Yes. Is this the adding of the 14 Yes. And that's the adding of the 16. So what I've got wrong in there is this constraint here. Um, and I have to remember what it is supposed to be. Okay, so I'm just looking around here and, and discovered more of my error is. And so you're just checking everything. I checked all these values, but I'm going ahead and check the constraints. And see, I have the wrong value here. So I'm just going to change that to D6. Add, cancel. Okay, so now let's just check everything here. I'm optimizing uh, these two values that I had set to 0. So it's going to change them from 0 to some other values to maximize D16. And my constraints are that D13, the amount of nuts, has to be less than or equal to 114, which we just put in as a cell value, not as 114, because we might go in and change the 114 later to some other, maybe we found 50 more pounds of nuts or somewhere. All right, D14, the amount of raisins we end up with has to be less than or equal to that 72, which is in D7. And then this value has to be greater than or equal to 0. So we'll solve that. Uh, well, here we're, somehow I. OK. So here's the solution. Oh. Why did I why did I do that? Just click OK. All right, so here's my solution: is that I need 51 pounds of nuts in the first mix and 63 kilograms kilograms in the second mix, and that gives me 114. So I used all my nuts. If I use 51 here, I have to use 51 here. Okay, and. Uh, so then if I have 72, that just leaves me 21 here, which is one-third of 63. So this all works out. And so it just solved it for us. And then it says, okay, look, it's $7 per kilogram and $9.5 per kilogram. Okay. We're going to end up with $1,512. In other words, if you want to get a good performance evaluation when you have you know, this problem, you shouldn't, you know, you should bring in $1,512 to the company. Anything less than that is uh, unacceptable. So, uh, again, just to, to say, when you put in your data, let's just say I want to change it. Now, I want to change this to uh, 82. Okay, so I want to go back in and solve. See, it changes everything around because I changed the limitation. I don't have to do anything else. And with another 10 kilograms, I, you know, didn't seem like I got another $20 out of there. It doesn't seem very good, but they are raisins after all. Okay, so that's why you leave the data in one section. You have the model in another section. The real problem is getting, getting it set up.